Welcome back everyone, I am Zadian, this is Kerbal Space Program, the Redneck Space Program, and today people, today we have a Kerbal that we need to rescue from Minmus. Minmus. Min- ah, fuck it. <clears throat> Gonna start out strong today, obviously. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're redesigning the rockets. Uh, we need to add more fuel, which is what we're doing. We need to ensure that this thing can get into orbit easily. And we're also going to add some asparagus um, staging on this as well. Now that we have the uh, the fuel hoses. And we're going to asparagus stage this thing up. Hopefully that will be more than enough to, to get it into uh, stable orbit before we have to rely on the uh, five engines that are on the lander. Uh, I know five engines is probably a little lot, but we do need a little bit of thrust to get into orbit. We don't need that amount of thrust when it comes to um, landing on or getting off of Minmus, uh, but it does help in the early stages to have that. We're going to put uh, quite a few of these bad boys on there. Again, asparagus... Um, uh, staging it's a it's an older tactic I don't even know if people use this nowadays I'll be honest with you I haven't really seen any uh, recent Kerbal Let's Plays uh, in a long time the last person I really watched was Scott Manley and his um, his his stuff but he's doing uh, Galileo um, stuff now which I'm not doing so it's it's based off of a different physics so I can't bait I can't really get any ideas or you know any any kind of inclination of what I'm if what I'm doing is even still considered um, a uh, kind of a tangible way of doing things. So we you know we're we're uh, we're winging it. We're going off of some of my old older designs, which I used asparagus staging a lot in the past when I played this game, first, especially when I first started playing it. So we're gonna we're gonna we're going to do that again, um, and we're gonna save that, and that is just gonna name small lifter. Um, see if we can't put that back on there without struggling, right? Eh, it looks like we got it on there. We're going to strut this bad boy up, make sure we give it some extra stability. Uh, just, I, asparagus staging, you know, it, get, it can get a little wonky. Plus, the, uh, the aerodynamics on this upper portion are not the best, but they're still not too bad. And at this point in the game, I, I don't have... Um, joint reinforcement, the mod joint reinforcement installed. I do install that later, um, not until uh, episode 17-ish, I think is when I do it, when I start making some bigger rockets. Um, yeah, but uh, this just basically redesigned the Gigamot just a little bit, um, adding some more fuel. Uh, I, I did, I said screw it, I'm going to add more fuel to these tanks up here. Uh, better safe than sorry, and I have a feeling that... Um, it's, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna need it, basically. Uh, yeah. So, we're just adding a, a little bit more fuel on there, uh, making sure going through and setting up the uh, staging properly, and that's about it. Uh, remember, kids, always check your staging. It uh, prevents grief in the future. Especially for someone like me who doesn't have rewind on, uh, which has been a, a big challenge for me, and uh-oh, what's this? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is Jeb. I don't know Jeb's there. Let's go over to real me. Or not real me, but past me. Oh, shit. Alright, we're good. Man, it's got more stability. stability. That's a little wonky. Alright, stage. Probably gonna eject that. Hold on to it for a minute. Go ahead and throttle up. Checked. Lost fuel tank. I think we're still good. Yeah, we're good. Oh god, we're not good. Oh no, nope. bad things. Bad things. Oh well. Well. That'll be something for the YouTubers to uh, mock me on. Can I land it? Eh. I'm missing an engine. I don't think I'm going to be able to recover this. Oh, God. 
Yeah, well, there they go. Yeah. State, state, state. Space bar, space bar, space bar. That's what you do when you screw up. Alright. Let's go ahead and accelerate this thing down and get, uh, get it back out on the launch pad. No, ladies and gentlemen. You're not missing the fact that I have a parachute on there. Could have deployed it. Could have saved Jeb. Did not know he was there. As a matter of fact, after we get through this landing of everything, exploding and everything, you'll see we have a moment of silence for our dear, dear Jeb. Let's try this bad boy again. Close. It's uh, Gigamon. Let's see. That one? Yeah, it's that one. Uh, okay. Bill, what are you doing in there? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on! I fucking killed Jeb! God damn it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is what it sounds like when you realize you fucked up. I indeed messed up on that one pretty big. Didn't even realize Jeb was in there. Killed him. Pure, pure ignorance on my side. Um, can't blame anybody but myself on that one. I should have checked to make sure that uh, when I, pu I pulled it up from the launch pad that there was nobody in it. I did not. And Jeb paid the price for it. So we're going to need some new Kerbins since we have killed two of them by accident out of pure negligence. And one of them is just, you know, Valentina. She was the first to go, but uh, that, that was just a weird thing of her coming in too fast. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so we killed Jeb. And uh, not too. I wasn't too happy about that. I was not happy at all. And um, yeah. So, uh, let's make sure we remove the crew member from it. If we can do it the right way. Past me. There we go. Now let's go ahead and launch this rocket. And this time, people, this time, things are going to be much different. And we're going to show it to you in all its fabulous glory and 300% speed like normal. I, I did a lot of 300... Oh, god damn, that was loud. Sorry. Um, I did a lot of 300% speed in this one. Um, as you can see... I don't have this the, the the joint reinforcement. If I did those uh, those those pieces wouldn't wiggle. They they don't. When you really watch it in, in fast motion, it wiggles a lot. Uh, I can tell. And this thing is not not built to be the most stable. I I poor poor design, really, on my part. Uh, I, I probably need to get away from asparagus staging, uh, even though you're going to see it plenty more in the future. Uh, but as you can see here, this does give us enough fuel to get us pretty high into orbit. And even though those 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 little engines don't push too terribly much, it's still going to be enough uh, to save us on fuel going to and from Minimus. Uh, we'll be able to rescue our carbon who is stranded there, and it should be it should be okay. But yeah, just kind of just kind of crazy a crazy accident. Uh, industrial accidents, how Jeb, just, you know, we were out there, we were testing the rocket. We were going to go up there, we were supposed to be a drone, and Jeb crawled in the cockpit and didn't tell anybody. You see, this is right right here, this is why we got the five engines. This helps us get into orbit uh, a little bit better. Because um, if you just had the one engine on it, it would take for, it, I don't even know if I'd be able to get into orbit, to be honest with you. But with the five, uh, getting into orbit is easy. We have more than enough fuel. I made sure damn sure that we had more than enough fuel to get to and from Minmus and capture, uh, not capture, and rescue our Kerbin. This right here is the injection burn where we're um, heading away from Kerbin going towards Minmus. Minmus. I, I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sure you guys in the comments section down below will correct me. I am not 
uh, offended by any of that stuff, by the way. You guys poke, poke as much fun as you want to. I'm a, I'm just a jackass on, on YouTube playing video games. I have fun with it. As long as you guys are having fun with it, too, that's all I really matter. That's all I really care about, uh, to be honest with you. I, I'm going to be playing these video games regardless whether it's on YouTube or not. So I'd rather show you guys this stuff and put it out there for people to enjoy than to, to just play video games by myself. So if you guys want to poke fun at me and uh, harass me for my my redneck speech, by all means, go for it. I, I do get a kick out of it. And here we try to get as close as possible to our stranded Kerbal. Uh, they are... Uh, they, they're fine. They got plenty of food, plenty of water and stuff. And it's, they can survive on... They can survive stranded here for a long time. I, I did this on purpose. Um, I didn't strand them on purpose, but I, I make sure that the capsules and stuff have plenty of food and water and oxygen um, just, to, just to make sure that they can make it uh, for long periods of time in case something like this does happen. And uh, if you'll notice, our fuel is uh, getting quite low because we're still using the five engines. We, we should only be using the one. Uh, that's my bad. I didn't even... I, went, I, I guess I wasn't paying attention well enough. But um, sorry, I had to burp. Had to cut that out. Um, yeah, so uh, we're coming in here. We're we're pretty close. We're not too far away. Uh, she is going to be able to get over to us fairly easily, and we still do have enough fuel. It may not look like it, but uh, once I eject these uh, external fuel tanks, you'll see that we have plenty of fuel to to get back to Kerbin, um, and even have enough to go visit another portion of Minmus. Um, to get more science so I mean it's it, it works out perfectly we're able to, to even hop skip jump to another area and then return home and as you can see <laughs> my uh, landing skills on par with the last time except for this time we're not going as fast uh, yeah I'm not not so good at the the, the sticking the landing in low gravity uh, tried to wiggle this thing to get it up on its yeah we go and then <laughs> put the gear out <laughs> It would really help if I had RCS. Um, I do have it unlocked. I just don't have it on this particular rocket. I'd uh, like to thank this one for saving us and keeping us alive for all this time. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab all the science out of this bad boy and uh, take it over to our new rocket that has plenty of fuel and uh, will be able to at least get us home. And uh, just real quick, I want to thank you guys uh, for all your support and everything. Uh, it does mean a lot. Uh, I, your comments have been fantastic. Uh, I've got a request to name another rocket in my last video, uh, which I'm going to be more than happy to do. Uh, just again, that's going to take a minute for it to show up on uh, on on film because I do have a bit of a backlog. Not as much as I used to. Um, I have come down a lot. This is 15. I've got 16, 17. Uh, recorded uh, so I've only got two more videos in the backlog but um, I, I took a little break uh, while I was doing the PFC 5 preliminaries for Jolly Rogers Aerospace by the way guys link in the description down below to his channel please 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 go check him out his content is fantastic he does something called a uh, plane fight club he is on currently on season five I uh, can't recommend it enough I, I really enjoy it and uh, you should really really go over there and check him out he is awesome uh, as you can see right now we are going to go to um, I believe it's called the flats um, it's the really, really flat part of, uh, Minmus. And, yep, there we go. We ejected it. As you can see, we got a full fuel tank. Again, we are good on fuel. Uh, we're gonna go over here to this flat part real quick. We're gonna gain some science. And then, uh, after that, that's when we're gonna head back to the house. And, uh, we're, you know, head back to the house. Head back to Kerbin. <laughs> and, uh, collect all this beautiful, beautiful science. And hopefully further our ability to... Oh, that's right. You can get a little e, uh, EVA report right there. Low over the uh, low over Minmus. And um, yeah, hopefully the science that we get from this will be able to uh, afford us to build bigger rockets. Uh, that's that's the main goal. I, I, want to, um, I want to build bigger rockets. I also want to build a space station for, uh, fairly soon. And I want to land a person on the moon 
fairly soon. So over the next couple episodes, that's going to be our main goal is to uh, to land on the moon with a Kerbal and to uh, land or to build a space station and eventually staff that. The frame rate has just gone to shit and I don't know why. That is uh, very, very strange. Uh, I really hope that uh, is just my editor and it doesn't come out like that on uh, the recording. But I don't know. If it does, I apologize. I don't know why the frame rate just died like that. But as you can see, we can get a whole host of other scientific data from just moving a little bit over. This is going to uh, pave the way. Oop, don't stand on that. That should say not stand on. And, oh, there we go. Yes, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, we're going to suck up all the science. And we're going to retract... Um, extract it all so we move all the science into that and then we will come out here and extract it all i don't know why i got out the first time um anyways doesn't matter we're going to reset the experiment uh we're, we're not going to go visit anywhere else we're just going to stop right here we've uh we've got a uh, good good tidbit of science I, I i need to send either a um i do i do have this uh rover mod although rovers on on minimus kind of suck uh, we're, we're gonna do something. We're gonna get all the science from here. There's a lot to still be had that we haven't gotten yet. And as you can see, it's super, super duper easy to get into space from the ground. And there goes that frame rate again. I really, really hope that it's not slideshowing for you guys. I'll be very disappointed. That'd be the first time that actually happened. Um, so, uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into an orbit, uh, uh around the, uh, the, the, uh, Minmus, Minmus, and uh, then we're going to set up our our maneuver node to take us back home, fire that baby off, and then we'll be on our way back to Kerbin, safe and sound, rescued a Kerbal, got him back home, perfect, 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 and I'm just going to, you should not do this, okay, I can't stress that enough, if I had the heat settings up, this would destroy this capsule, and I would never survive. And here's another good example of me fast forwarding way too quickly uh, through time. And I have uh, ejected the capsule. However, I'm stuck. And there we go. It finally breaks away. But yeah, if you were to do this with the heat settings turned up, this capsule would burn up quicker than it would. There would be no chance of it surviving. So uh, you should really do. Um, you should really come back to curb and, and come into an orbit. Around Kerbal, around Kerbin, and then bring your uh, your capsule back in. But that's gonna do it, guys. That's gonna take us to the end of our episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the rescue mission. I hope you enjoyed the failure uh, of, and I hope you mourned for Jeb for me because I feel really terrible about that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate a like and subscription. If you could leave comments down in the comment section down below, I do respond to them all. Thank you guys again. We will see you next time for more Redneck Space Program. Deuces!